Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, as you can see, we're going to do some holiday journal jewelry. But first, let's have our shout out to Denise, Debbie, Gwyneth, Mary, Nancy, Lala Gamma, Mags, Holly, and Joyce. I appreciate each and every one of you. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have been so busy. Let me show you some things. So I have been, listen, oh, wouldn't that just be adorable hanging off of your journal or a journal page or a front of a journal or just, oh my goodness, absolutely adorable. I'm going to show you how I made these. So here are some that's kind of like, I don't know, glamorous, uh, shall we say, very glamorous. Those are, they don't have any bells or anything like that. And then these are paper clips and they do have bells on them. And I don't know if you can see them very well in the black or maybe on the white. But they're easy to make too. I'll show you how to do that. And then here we have some longer ones on some larger pins. Oh my goodness. And the sleigh bells are ringing. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. Now I have made a ton of these because I'm getting together my holiday ephemera packs. And I needed them to go inside of them. So I'm going to see if I could do a good job of being able to show you how to make these. So there are a few things that you will need to have and that really is uh, the, the tools. So these are round nose pliers. You really do need, I would suggest two, or at least something that you can twirl. Some cutters, some wire cutters. These are some needle nose pliers. You may not have to have these, but sometimes they come in handy. Of course, you're going to need some safety pins. I have some large black ones, and here are some very small gold ones. Then the large paper clips right here. I have a few of those. And you're going to need what is called, now I saved my package for y'all. These are called eye pins. And these are two inch eye pins. And that's what you might need the wire cutter, cutters for. I always found that if you use the, lar the longer ones, you can always cut them down to the size you need. But if you get short ones, then you can't make them longer. So that's why I got these. Now, I picked these up recently at our local Walmart. It's a bulk pack. They were like three bucks, some two something. So very reasonable. I have some very thin one eighth, one eighth inch ribbon. This happens to be a red satin. I have some pearls in different colors right here. And I have some charms and some bells, some jewelry findings. I have a few things like that. Now, right here, these are what we're going to use to attach our ribbon little tassels with. So let's go ahead and shall we start with the, the larger. So let me bring this in here. To show you let's start with this right here let's make these oh my goodness so adorable so what we want to do first is we want to bring in one of our eye pins and let's see this is our eye pin it's two inches as I said and I've got all kinds of things right here Let's go ahead and we're starting with the bottom. So I'm going to just place this jewelry find. Now you can get these at a local craft shop. You can get a small bundle of them and then you can make a few of your own if you would like. And let's go ahead and let's start with maybe a large gray pearl. So it fits on there just like this. All right, I hope you're able to see that. And then we're going to put another little bobble on top. 
and then let's do a red pearl and then maybe a something smaller how about whoops how about this let's stick this on there like that and then let's put uh, maybe a gray too so we have the red in the middle like that I'm not sure I really like that flat one I think I'd rather have this one and then the gray where did it go right here let's put that right on top we're getting close to the end you see we're close to the end of our of our pin you don't want to go too close to the end because then you're going to have trouble tying it off I guess is the word I'm going to say I'm going to have an end cap on here so it's just a little cap as you can see on there I don't know that, that really works very well does this work better that you can see that end cap there we go now this is the part that you need your rounded pliers and we're going to bend it over completely over absolutely completely over can you see where that is and it's completely bent over and then we're going to bend it or roll it we're going to roll it the other way to make our loop so we have our loop made oh my goodness I wish I had something that would show this a little better there's a loop right there <clears throat> all right we're going to set that aside we're going to get one of our little round pieces right here and we're going to open it up now if you're making like jewelry you would open it differently but we're we're making we're making the holiday journal jewelry and it's not exactly the same as making it for a piece of jewelry you're going to wear so i'm just opening it by just pulling it apart i don't even know if you can see that i just pulled it apart i'm going to put it on the bottom loop and i'm going to close it up just like that i'm going to just close it up okay and now for the top we're going to get one more of those round little pieces and we're going to open it up and we're going to place it right on to the bottom of our safety pin and close it up so there you have it there is a charm right there dangles and everything all right so next let's go ahead and let's make our paper clip pieces of jewelry like this so I ordered off of Amazon some little charms some holiday charms and there's a sani and a mitten oh here's another mitten I guess I grabbed two mittens but I'll have all different kinds but anyway we're just going to make one and what we are going to do is we're going to take that ribbon closure here right here this ribbon holder kind of has teeth you can find this once again in the jewelry section of the craft shop or or um even the uh walmart local walmart has them too all right so i'm just looping this so i have two folded pieces at the top you can make these any length you want okay you don't have to make them any special length you're putting the folded pieces right here these folded pieces are going to go inside of these little jaws these metal jaws and I'm just taking my finger and I'm just pushing them closed just to hold them I did that crooked just to hold it well enough to bring in your flat needle nose pliers and just close it just like that so now it's like the teeth have just chomped down onto the ribbon and it's not going to go anywhere so i'm just going to trim this so now we have four little ribbon streamers dangles whatever you want to call them 
like that. So there's our first part that we've made. Now let's go ahead and let's select, let's get a, this is a green bell and I need another one of my circles. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to place it onto my bell and then on the bottom, the largest part of my paper clip, I'm going to attach my bell and close that up. So now it's attached. We need another one of those circles and we're going to open them up, it up I should say, and we're going to attach it to the top of our little uh, ribbon holder. Oh, why am I closing it back up? I need to put it on. I need to put it on the bottom here with the bell. Yeah, Kathy, we're going to put it on there. Okay, so now we've got two pieces just like that. We need another little circle and we need to attach our charm. So I'm going to just grab this mitten and I'm going to place it on here. I want it in front of the ribbon. So I'm just going to put it right there. So the ribbon's in the middle. All right, so now we look just like that. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to make these little loops right here on the uh, paper clip so that the charms will not fall off. This is the hardest part of this whole thing is doing this. And it's because the wire of the paper clip is so strong. You want to take your pliers, the circle pliers, the rounded nose pliers, and you're going to place them down about a half an inch and you're going to roll it. And you're going to keep rolling it until the end meets the end of the the end touches the other paper clip the other side of the the wire of the paper clip the circle mat touches the wire of the paper clip that's what i'm trying to say all right now we're going to do the other loose end of the paper clip and it's strong i will say that it is strong it's a strong wire so now we have our wires that are curled and we can place them, we'll just place it right on here. And there you have it. Oh my goodness, it is so cute, so cute. So we've got that made. Now, what else do we want to make? Maybe one of these smaller ones, it's very much the same as the longer ones. What did I do with that? See, it's very much the same, except we just didn't make it as long. This is the one we made together. And we just made it smaller with just two pearls, and we put it on a small paper clip. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so much fun. And I am getting ready for making bunches of holiday ephemera over in my Etsy shop. It's not there yet, but it soon will be. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.